let us solve another problem on this regular expression and this problem came in the year in the year 2013 in the get exam okay see consider the languages l1 is equal to phi and l2 is equal to alpha so l1 is equal to phi and l2 is equal to alpha which one of the following represents so if we have l1 l2 star union l1 star then what does it mean out of these four options so that is the question and we should have to solve it while solving this one we require to know or we require to remember all the regular expression identities so all those identities which we had we had a separate video on this particular identities please remember all of them and go through that video and take a lesson on that so now let us come to my solution concatenation of empty language with any language will give you the empty language that means l1 star is equal to phi star is equal to your epsilon in some other cases we usually consider this epsilon as lambda that is a null okay so l1 star what is l1 l1 is our phi so what about the l1 star that is a phi star phi star means what means epsilon plus phi plus phi phi and plus phi 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 and so on so ultimately i shall be landing with this epsilon epsilon means null or lambda therefore this is my expression this is my regular expression l1 l2 star union l1 star i got this one from the from my question okay so what is l1 that is phi what is l1 star that is phi star what is a phi star that is our epsilon okay so phi concatenation with any kind of any kind of regular expression phi concatenation with any regular expression you are getting phi because phi r is equal to phi it was written in that particular identities so now phi concatenation with any regular expression will produce phi so now as phi concatenated with any anything is phi and phi star is equal to epsilon and so phi union epsilon will give you epsilon so in this way we could solve the problem see here we are having this option a so here here the option hence option number a is correct or is true so in this way such problems will be solved so all the identities whatever we have discussed you should have to remember all of them while solving such problems i think you are getting this idea thanks for watching this video